Did you know that Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen is basically just a palette swap of a completely different character from Mob Psycho 100? So, not exactly, but one thing that's easily noticeable on a watch of Mob Psycho's second season is how Gojo's character, his personality, as well as his abilities could all have been influenced by one of the strongest from another well-known series that was made well before JJK's time. Ryo Shimazaki, self-proclaimed the second strongest esper in the entire world, just behind the immense power level of the boss of the criminal organization Shimazaki belongs to. Despite looking like polar opposites, both Satoru Gojo and Ryo Yoshi Mizaki represent a callous confidence that can be fully backed up by the massive gap in power they find themselves sharing between them and other individuals. In their respective series, they both represent powerhouses that can take on entire teams of main characters with little struggle. Their powers are also very similar not just in design, but execution. As probably all of you know being Jujutsu Kaisen fans, Satoru Gojo's curse techniques revolve around control of space and actually has a lot of in-depth mathematics behind the control of his ability. Able to manipulate both positive and negative energy, Satoru was capable of mastering both pull and repel, high speed and long distance warping, as well as a terrifying dominance in close quarters fighting that makes him a force of nature that is unmatched in any and all outcomes. This aura of just justified superiority is one that Shimazaki shares in his own universe. A horrifyingly powerful esper in his own right, Ryo is able to teleport at high speed in what others describe as blinking in and out of reality. Using this blinking, Shimazaki is able to easily disorient and overwhelm multiple opponents all at once. Pairing this warp speed with a powerful telekinetic grasp on not just barriers to keep himself safe, but the extra sensory ability to predict his opponent's movements and expertly dodge or counter any and all attacks that may come his way. Although not exactly limitless, the slowing down of all matter as it grows closer to Gojo, Shimazaki's unbreakable perception creates an environment where he can overpower multiple high-level espers all while barely receiving a single scratch. They're familiar their cocky nature also cannot be ignored, both feeling as if they walk on a higher plane than most that challenge them. They feel no need to take most situations seriously. However, they aren't fools either. Gojo is easily able to understand growth in his students, and despite sitting at the top of his food chain, is an excellent judge of power scaling in his own universe, making for an excellent, down-to-earth teacher to those lucky enough to pique his interest. The same can somewhat be said for Shimazaki, easily able to sense when something does present a threat to him. This shows the major difference between Satoru and Ryo. Gojo's overconfidence still remains unchallenged, however Shimazaki's cockiness is only due to his narrow-minded perspective on the world around him failing to believe anyone exists that can surpass him besides the person he follows. The final nail in the coffin that does prove Ryo Shimazaki's character is a direct inspiration to the modern demigod Satoru Gojo. If you've noticed, Ryo Shimazaki is a very Brock-like character. There are only two results of this. Either it is just for design, or there's a reason this man keeps his eyes closed. And as Uchiha's law dictates, there must be at least one overpowered eye technique per successful shonen if the series is ever to excel in sales or overall audience appeal. That's an actual fact. Google it and look it up. Don't at me. Super Sensory Zone Mind's Eye allows the sensory skills of Ryo Shimazaki to maximize past their peak. Born blind, but with immense power, Shimazaki always fell behind his extra sensory skills to vastly improve his esper abilities. When opening his eyes, Shimazaki is able to shut all of his senses down besides what is necessary to detect his target. This allows him to achieve full supremacy, knocking out any and all targeted objects or victims in their vital points instantly with absolute precision due to the intense focus and dissociation from all other matter currently existing. While not exactly the six eyes, do I really have to continue spelling this shit out for you anymore? Gojo, Shimazaki. Shimazaki, Gojo. Same person. Case closed. Hey guys, thanks for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing another figure giveaway. Two Gojo videos in a row means it's time to celebrate with a Satoru Gojo figure. Like, comment, and make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. I'm also doing a second giveaway over on my Twitter for a Yuta Okotsu figure. So if you want a chance at winning a second figure, head over to my Twitter, follow me, and like and retweet my pinned tweet there for another opportunity at winning. I'll be announcing the winner for the Gojo figure and the Yuta figure on August 31st at the end of the month. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and get your chance to win this figure before it's too late. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.